Let's talk about some more advanced functionality in Gumloop. Let's imagine that you've built an amazing flow and you want to go ahead and share it with colleagues. Now you don't necessarily want them playing around in the canvas and understanding everything that's happening, but you do want to give them the power of Gumloop. So to do that, we can add an interface to any flow. So here we're back in our flow that we built in the first lesson that takes an input and writes to Google Sheet. Instead of this input, we can go ahead and create an interface. Now, interfaces are the ability to give someone on your team access to the power of the flow without necessarily giving them access or working in the underlying flow. So let's go ahead and edit this interface. And I'm going to imagine that my colleagues want to input a URL of a company and get that company's description and categorization, see it on the page, and write it to Google Sheet. So as an input, I want a text field, which is going to be company URL. And we can style this nicely. Let's give it a little bit of color. Let's upload an icon like that. And let's call this interface get company information. Let's return to our workflow. Now we have an output in this node. This is just like a node and every input into the interface is an output here. So we're going to connect it just like before to our scraping and we're going to add that to Google Sheets as well. So let's give this a try. You can get the URL for any interface by hovering over edit interface access, copy the interface link, and I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And now I can input a URL. Let's imagine I want to grab information about gumloop.com. Now I can run that flow and I don't need to go into the underlying flow. I'm understanding everything that's happening right here in the interface itself. Now this flow is running exactly as it would if we had triggered it from the flow itself. And we can see that Gumloop has been added to our Google Sheet. Now, as a user, this isn't the most informative. So we can actually go ahead and provide some guidance to the user by adding outputs. So let's add an output to this where we say company description. Let's grab the response from this ask AI step, the one liner. Let's add a second one, which is category. Now, if we run this one more time, the user inputting the information will see those outputs, the company category and the description that is provided by the underlying flow. That was a brief introduction to interfaces. Give anyone on your team the power of Gumloop without having them understand the underlying flow.